On the Health Watch tonight, say goodbye to Sunburns. A new wearable sun monitoring device is about to hit the market that some call a sun watch. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here to show us how it works. Some Steph new technology mm -hmm. for you guys. You know, this is like a Fitbit that tracks and monitors steps. This one monitors sun exposure and alerts you when you've had too much sun. This is our current version and you can see the solar panel on the front. With solar panels and infrared sensors, this device is supposed to measure the amount of sunlight you get throughout the day and will alert you when you reach an unsafe level. Sunburn is one of the biggest triggers in skin cancer and skin cancer occurs in one in five people in this country, so it's so common. Founder Dr. Brian Matthew says he's been thinking about a device like this for five years. His goal is to help people enjoy life outside safely. Here you can see that it's reading very low because we're in this room. If I was to step outside Side, it might show low or moderate or high or very high and that will be an indicator to me to change my behavior and put on sunscreen or wear sleeves or go inside so that I don't get sunburned. The device works like a Fitbit and syncs up to an app on your smartphone. So you would tap this to begin. The app walks you through the setup and based on your skin type the device will vibrate and you will get a push notification on your phone when you've been in the sun too long. Dr. Matthew says using it is simple. All you have to do is routinely decide whether or not you want to wear sun protection. And then we decide what SPF we're using based on a slider. So we can go 5, we can go 85, 90. So whatever SPF we use. Now, right now, the device that cost $159 is on pre-order. And while it was developed by a dermatologist, there is no information on proof of accuracy or outside independent reviews. Doctors say the safest practice is to apply sunscreen every couple of hours or stay out of the sun.